Really, any tool around your business probably could be better used with rich customer data in it. And that rich customer data can come from Snowflake. Welcome to Powered by Snowflake, where I interview technology leaders building businesses and applications on Snowflake. I'm your host, Daniel Myers, and today I'm talking with Tejas Monahar, co-founder and co-CEO of HiTouch, a data activation platform that helps companies use their data in Snowflake across their business tools that sales, marketing, and finance already use, and it's powered by Snowflake. Tejas, how are you today? Doing well. How are you, Daniel? Doing well. Doing well. So tell me more. What is, in your own words, High Touch? Yeah. So High Touch is a data activation platform, and what that means is we help companies take all the data from their Snowflake, and instead of just using it for analytics by you know creating BI reports and, and answering strategic business questions, we help them actually activate the data from their data warehouse for the day-to-day -day processes of sales, marketing, and finance teams. That's awesome. So as a co-founder of this company, tell me about you know, what made you want to create this company and, and what is, how did you actually go about you know, creating this company? Yeah, for sure. So overall, the main reason we founded HiTouch is really to help companies activate their data. So over the last seven to 10 years, we really realized that all companies have been investing so much in centralizing all their data in one place, the Snowflake Data Cloud, for data analytics. But when it comes to actually using the data, the main use case for data inside of the data cloud has so far just been analyzing the data, answering big strategic questions for the business, creating reports that are looked at in meetings and board meetings. But what we really realized was there's so many business processes that are happening across a company in sales teams, marketing teams, finance teams on a day-to-day -day basis. And those processes can be enhanced by all the customer data that's inside a customer's data cloud. That's what we really aim to help with at HiTouch. That's pretty exciting. So, you know, looking online, it looks like you, you are currently at, at Series B funding. Tell me more about kind of the growth trajectory uh, of HiTouch today and, and, you know, when were you founded, things like that. Yeah, so we really founded HiTouch about three years ago. And in the last one and a half years, things have really taken off. What we found is that all companies of all sizes, all industries, verticals, whether that's healthcare, media and entertainment, financial services, are all centralizing their customer data in the data cloud. And they have all these SaaS tools around the company, like Salesforce, Salesforce Marketing Cloud, Adobe, Facebook Ads, et cetera, that could benefit from the data inside the data cloud, but there's no link between the two. So once we got high touch to the market and, and really expressed our positioning as a data activation platform to help companies not just do analytics on top of the data in Snowflake, but actually activate their data across all the different SaaS systems in a company to improve sales and marketing KPIs. That's when things really started to take off. So we started the company about three years ago. It really took off a year and a half ago, and we're used by you know, hundreds of customers that use Snowflake as their data cloud. We raised $40 million Series B late last fall and have raised over 50 million total and are aiming to 5X our business this year. That is incredible and really exciting. So from here, you know, let's see a demo of, of what you've built. For sure. So before we dive into a demo of the actual high touch platform, what I wanna do is show how data flow fits into your overall architecture as a business and where Snowflake fits into all of this. So here on this diagram, you can see three phases of your data infrastructure. First, you have data ingestion. There's tons of different platforms out there, like Fivetran, for example, that can help you take data from all your different sources, whether that's your web events, your SaaS tools like Salesforce, advertising platforms, or even internal databases, and stream these into your Snowflake data cloud. Once that data is in Snowflake, that's where you can actually munch and crunch this data using BI tools, as well as build source of truth tables within your Snowflake, like tables and views using tools like DBT that represent things like, what's a customer? What are the product usage metrics that I care about? What's the revenue of my business? Now, after you have all that data modeled inside of your Snowflake here, it's time for activation. HiTouch is the platform that you can use for data activation. So once the data is in Snowflake, if you want to share that data across all your different business teams, 
Every business team has a SaaS tool that they live out of. For sales teams, that's Salesforce. For marketing teams, that can be a number of platforms from something like Adobe to Braze to advertising platforms. For finance teams, that might be an ERP system. And the, the list goes on. When you use high touch, what you can do is actually take the data from Snowflake and start moving it to those systems so that Snowflake can essentially be the single source of truth that powers not just the analytics at your business, but also your business operations across these tools. That's awesome. And it really seems like what you've built is, is you know, Snowflake is a key component to the tech stack. Certainly. So now I'll open up the high touch platform and show how it actually works under the hood. So the first thing, before you can start activating data in high touch, there's a few one-time steps as prerequisites. The very first step, since the whole platform that we've built here is actually powered by Snowflake, is to connect your Snowflake instance. And when I say your Snowflake instance here, I'm talking about the customer's Snowflake. Since we're a connected application that connects directly to our customer's Snowflake data clouds. So for the sake of time, we've already connected a sample Snowflake here representing an, an e-commerce customer. The next step before you can start activating data, which again is more like a one-time step or something you might do once a month or so, not every day, is connecting the destinations that you want to send data to using high touch. And to give you some context, these destinations can be any sort of business tool around your company. So we have, you know, we have analytics tools like Amplitude and Google Analytics. We have databases like Postgres and MongoDB that you might be using to power your product or application. We have a bunch of freeform destinations like Google Sheets. A really common use case of our application is just helping companies you know, take some data from Snowflake and slice and dice it a bit more inside of spreadsheets. And then the biggest category of applications we have here are marketing systems. So as you can see, there's you know, marketing tools from almost every ad network you can imagine. Microsoft, LinkedIn, Bing, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it, as well as you know, marketing CRM tools like Braze, Customer.io, Salesforce Marketing Cloud, et cetera. And the list goes on. Really, any tool around your business probably could be better used with rich customer data in it. And that rich customer data can come from Snowflake. So for the sake of time, we've also connected a, a handful of destinations here, as you can see. Now, once you've connected your, your Snowflake data cloud and the business tools that your company is already using to high touch, you need to define what data you actually want to sync from your data cloud into these tools. You know, what data points from Snowflake do you want to leverage across these different SaaS systems? To do that, there's two ways. One, if you're a technical user, like a data analyst or data engineer, you can go into high touch and create a model on top of your Snowflake data cloud. So as you can see here, it's pretty straightforward. You can define a model via familiar interfaces that you already use to query your Snowflake data cloud on a day-to-day -day basis, like writing SQL. So here we write a really simple SQL query to select all the B2B users, and, and this just gets executed directly on your Snowflake, just like it would be in you know, any BI tool like Tableau. Or you can even just directly select a table from Snowflake without having to, to even know SQL if you're a little less technical. The other way that you can define the data models that you want to reference in high touch is for even less technical users like you know, marketing teams that might know what they want at a high level, but not know all the SQL syntax or exactly the column names to get there. So as you can see here, here's an example audience of customers with an engagement score of less than 25. And you can preview it. You can change the filters on this audience, et cetera, all visually. And whenever you do any operation inside of this UI, so whether that's clicking preview, save, changing the filters, querying the event history of a user, all of that gets generated into a SQL query, just like the one we wrote in the Models tab and executed against your customer's Snowflake data warehouse. So far, we've connected a data source, our Snowflake data cloud. We've connected a destination, Facebook ads, and define some models and audiences that show the important data from our Snowflake data cloud that we want the rest of our business to be able to leverage. The last step is just defining how this data actually shows up in the tools that your business teams already use. So for our example here, we're going to sync some of these customer audiences that we've defined from our Snowflake data cloud into 
Facebook ads so we can run a campaign off of it. So here, we'll grab our list of all users from Snowflake. We've already defined what this is over in the Models tab. And we'll sync it over to Facebook audiences. Once it's in Facebook, we can use this data in all sorts of different ways, whether it's targeting those specific users, targeting users like them, et cetera. So it's pretty simple to get your data from Snowflake Data Cloud into, into any platform around the company. We'll show you just how here. You can just simply map over data from Snowflake into these systems without having to worry about the APIs behind Facebook or the technical know-how of, of how to actually get data into there. Hide to channels at all. So here you can see I'm saying first name from Snowflake. You should go to first name in Facebook, last name to last name, email to email. And I want to give the audience a name, all our users, so that it shows up just like that in Facebook. Lastly. If there's any sort of transformation needed to get the data from Snowflake into your destination like Facebook, Hightouch can do that for you, for example, automatically hashing your PII data for security. Now that I've defined how I want my data from Snowflake to, to look in Facebook in this super easy kind of non-technical interface, I can just define a schedule that I want this synchronization to run on, and Hightouch will handle the rest. So, here, I, I'm just saying I want to run this every hour. There's a bunch of other options about how to execute these syncs that can fit into your wider data infrastructure as well. So now what we've done here is we've created a model of all our users from Snowflake and just told Hightouch some basic instructions on how this should appear inside of Facebook ads. And boom, the data synced over. Anytime there's a change inside of Snowflake, we'll replicate that change over to Facebook in the most efficient way. We're not going to sync all the data every time, just additions, just removals, just deletions, that sort of thing. And using the Hightouch platform, you can get immense visibility into everything happening under the hood in case there's an issue or something you want to get to the bottom of. So now that we've connected our Snowflake data cloud, connected Facebook ads as a destination, created a simple customer audience inside of Snowflake, and sync that over using Hightouch, you can go into Facebook ads or any destination and actually activate this data by running marketing campaigns using the freshest data from your Snowflake single source of truth. That's awesome. The, the, the platform uh, and, and application that you've built on top of Snowflake is immensely powerful. From here, like, tell me more about why you chose Snowflake to build this application. Yeah, definitely. The simple answer is that we chose Snowflake because all our customers already use Snowflake. And that's where we saw the market heading. When I was an early engineer at Segment before, carving out the customer data platform space, our goal at Segment was really to help companies you know, centralize all their data into one place and activate that data. But what I found was that over the last five, six years, it's really become clear that customers want to centralize all their data in a data cloud, inside of Snowflake data cloud, and not just use it for analytics, but also activate all their data from there. So that's why we chose Snowflake. It was really our customers paving the way for us. That's awesome. So it really seems like you are a, you heavily leverage the uh, the data sharing capabilities of Snowflake. For sure. So our customers can also use Snowflake data sharing to you know merge data from third-party data sources or enrich data sets online to enrich you know, all the first-party data they already have in their own Snowflake account. And that's a super common use case that many of our clients are doing, especially media companies you know, like uh, Warner Music Group or Imperfect Foods, as they look to activate the best data from Snowflake. That's really cool. So you know, when, when choosing Snowflake, was there a certain process that you went through as a company to kind of to land on Snowflake, you know, what did you go through a proof of concept phase or anything like that? Yeah, definitely. So honestly, choosing Snowflake was super straightforward. At the time we were getting off the ground, we signed up for the startup program online, and because our customers used Snowflake and had all their data in it, we knew we wanted to build off Snowflake to provide you know the most seamless experience for our customers. So it was a pretty no-brainer decision, and the technology was a very self-service, you know, great documentation, easy-to-use process to just start building our platform against. And almost every feature that we demo today inside of the High Touch application is is built on Snowflake. That's awesome. So, you know, a lot of the folks that I talk to regarding the data sharing capability, right? One of the things that they mention is how data sharing 
and many times helps eliminate or relieve the need to have these API layers on top of just data access, right? I would imagine that so much customer data that you're having to pull and integrate together, how has that impacted the development speed for you and your company? Definitely. So honestly, you know, the fact that customers have already centralized all their customer data in one place, like the Snowflake Data Cloud, makes it so much easier to help companies like Warner Music Group, you know, Lucid Chart and Perfect Foods just sign up for high touch, connect their Snowflake and start syncing data to their different business applications and solving business problems within a matter of minutes. If our goal was to help companies activate data and, and they hadn't first, you know, centralized and modeled their data in a in a core data cloud like Snowflake, then it would be, you know, months and months, if not years of projects to help them first do that prerequisite step before they could use high touch. So we're really thankful for all the work our customers have already done in Snowflake so that we can really just drop into their business and, and start solving problems. That's awesome. So from here, right, six months, one year down the road, what do your customers have to look forward to? Like what's next for high touch? For sure. So today, Hightouch is already the leading data activation platform. You know, we help hundreds of companies just take data from their Snowflake data cloud and leverage it across all of their business systems. But our goal is really to make data activation capabilities available to more and more folks at the company. So right now, it's super easy if you're a data analyst or data engineer to you know, write some SQL, sync it over to a system like Salesforce, and, and now you're serving all your business teams that live in those systems. But what we want to allow is just like there's been kind of a wave for self-service data analytics, we want to allow you know, business users and you know, marketing ops, sales ops, IT teams to come in and start activating the data in Snowflake without necessarily being a data engineer. And we think we're already 60% the way there, but with features like audiences and traits and you know, more things that we're adding to our product, we think we can really get to a state where data activation is is something that you know marketing and sales teams can do on a daily basis. Where should people go if they want to learn more about you or maybe get in touch with High Touch? For sure. So you can go directly to our website. That's high, just the word high, touch uh, .io, So hightouch.io. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, you can also find us on Twitter. We're at High Touch Data, or I'm personally uh, Tejas. So T E J A S at hightouch.io. Thanks, Tejas, for joining me here today. It's been awesome having you in the studio. And for everybody, this has been another episode of Powered by Snowflake. And if you're looking to build your next application or business on Snowflake, check out developers.snowflake.com. Thanks.